I like to think of genes, if you like, as being the set of recipes which the body uh, uses and decodes to build its physical structures. And so every single cell and, and its shape and its size and its biochemical activities uh, is there as a result of the recipes in the genes being decoded. Uh, and of course, the, the genes also give the recipe for putting the cells together uh, in, in a developmental framework. And so, you know, starting with that one cell, we then get the little ball of cells and then we get the elongation and then we get the limbs. All that is in the genes. Uh, we also know that some elements of our behaviour must be at least partly in our genes. Uh, and I say that because some elements of behaviour depend on interactions of, of biological molecules in the brain and in the nervous system. Uh, and those biological molecules are also as a result of our genes. But we can't go much further than that. Uh, and if we take an example from the brain, the structure of the brain is built into our genes because of these recipes. But the way that the number, the, we have so many nerve cells in the brain, neurons in the brain, that the number of possible interactions between any two is just huge. Uh, it's been estimated that the number of possible neuronal interactions in the brain is more than the number of atoms in the universe. Uh, and clearly that cannot be genetic. So the genes determine the possibility of the interaction, but, but the way they connect with each other is dependent on experience, on learning, on environment, on nutrition. Some fascinating studies recently that my wife initially drew my attention to of the effect of deprivation uh, on children when they're very small and the effect of brain development that those poor orphans in Romania who've been left without any emotional support, any warmth, any human contact, there are actually lacunae in their brains by the time they're five. And that's been confirmed now by um, well-supported studies reported in the top journals. So, so environment there clearly affects the, the, the way the brain works. And so it's not true that we're determined by our genes, that there are so many elements that depend on other factors, even our upbringing. And I sometimes wonder whether Paula Radcliffe would have been such a good runner had her parents and her teachers not given her so much support when she was a young teenager. And that would be another example.